My name is Greg Kirchner. I was born in the western part of Poland, the city called Poznań. However, we didn't stay there very long, although my mother's family lived there. Uh, my dad's family was mostly in the eastern part of Poland, so we moved to a city called Womża. And uh, it's uh, one of the cities that l l uh, is situated by the Narev River. Uh, it's one of the last places of wilderness in Poland today. It was a small city, about 30,000 people then, about 60,000 people now. And uh, since uh, a lot of my father's family was in that area, it, he decided to make that our place, permanent place of residence. And we stayed there until the time it came when, when we left Poland for USA. Uh, I was a child, so I remember the years I went to the kindergarten, to the first grade, second grade, and uh, when uh, I was in the fifth grade, we left Poland. So my uh, memories of Poland are very, I guess, pleasant because there was no responsibilities. We didn't really experience any hardships in Poland. My mother and my father both worked and they had good positions. The only thing that I remember as a child that was sort of negative was uh, the constant stress my father was under because he would not join the Communist Party. So his job was always in jeopardy and wherever there was a uh, situation where someone was forced to attend some meetings or to take part in some of the party functions and my dad would not participate, then uh, you hear that police knocking on the door at 2 o'clock at night and they would drag him to the police station to find out why he didn't come, why he didn't attend, and uh, why he was such a bad citizen. What, what job did he have? He was a chief accountant in a um, firm that would do waterworks. They, that firm had a lot of contractors that uh, sort of dried up the wetlands whenever something needed to be built someplace. They built sewer systems, water systems, and irrigation systems, and so on. So he had eight people working in his department, and uh, because uh, his friend was the director of the institution, he was able to maintain the job. Otherwise, he probably would have been fired. And uh, because of the friendships, the, the people that he went to school with, the people that he knew sort of helped him to maintain that job. So I actually spent a lot of time in the evening sitting with my parents because uh, some of the friends would come over, would, they would sit and drink tea. So as a small child, I listened to a lot of things that were going on in their discussions. Also, one of the things that impressed in me was that uh, in Poland, you could not listen to any other radio than the one that was uh, allowed by the government, basically. So my dad had another radio that could listen to the Radio Free Europe, and that radio was hidden. So whenever some friends and uh, my dad wanted to listen to the Radio Free Europe, we pretend that we left home and then came back into the house, kept all the lights off, and then he would pull that radio and tune it in, and they would sit and listen to the news because that was the only way that you could get uh, news from the West. And uh, that radio was, of course, unregistered. And uh, if the police would ever catch us using it, then uh, you could probably go to jail for, for it. What uh, size family can you describe your family? Well, it was my, f um, when we moved to Omja, there was my father, my mother, my grandmother, and then and my brother. And uh, now my, my brother died very early because he had pneumonia. And uh, even though my mother worked in a health center at the time, and there were two doctors that were kind of taking care of him, they still couldn't get the medication to cure, to take care of pneumonia. So he died early. And then my grandmother, she was sick for about three, four years. She was bedridden. 
But uh, again, because we're not members of the Communist Party, she would not be admitted to the hospital, so she stayed at home. And uh, we had other members of the family living f uh, with us. There was uh, Helen came from a village close by, and she stayed with us so she would take care of my grandmother while my dad and my father, my father and my mother were working. So that I remember vividly because when I came in from the kindergarten, the first place I would always run was to my grandma because whenever she got some candy or something like that, she would keep it on the side by the bed, and that was for me. She would always give me something you know, on that. What did your mom do? My mom was working, when I was small, she was working in a health center. She was also an accountant in that health center. There was a number of doctors in that health center, and uh, since uh, there was social medicine was practiced in Poland, so people would come into that health center, and uh, it, it, whenever I went there, it was always a crowd. I remember the big hall when you walk in, and people sitting all around on benches, and then all around that hall there were doors for the doctors. Each doctor had his office. So the doctors would walk out and they would call a patient in and uh, they would go back and forth. So m my mom was, uh, one of these uh, offices was for my mom and uh, she was the one doing the accounting. On her desk was a big abacus because they didn't have any editing machines. So all the bookkeeping was done on an abacus. And she was good at it. She knew how to multiply, divide, add, subtract, all that just on the abacus. And uh, so a lot of times uh, I would, uh, my mother would take me to work when there was no, uh, nothing going on in the kindergarten. So I would just spend some time in her office playing on the uh, abacus or drawing something or sitting around and there were people coming in and out. And I remember during the paydays, uh, one of the janitors would go to the bank and he would bring a big suitcase full of money because during the paydays they would pay, they would, everyone would get paid cash, not checks. So my mom would sit there and she would count that money and they, the, the doctors and the nurses, they would come in and they would sign a list how much they received and they were supposed to count the money so make sure that everything is right. So it was kind of a play ground for me. Myself, I had no decision in the part when it came to leaving Poland. That decision was made by my father. And it wasn't until 1957 that that possibility arose. In 1957, when there was a change in leadership in the government after Stalin died. So the, the political situation was a little bit relaxed in Poland for a while. 